Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha. This is the Budget Mum UK. Today I am doing my April overview. I'm looking at my April budget. Everything has gone up, not just the ones that we were already expecting anyway, because of course, you know, we, we know about the gas and electric, we know other things are going up. April seems to be the month for everything to go up. So I'm having a look at how I'm going to be managing those increases. I'm going to be having a look at my monthly overview because I've got a few things going on as well. Some new envelopes, some new debts, believe it or not. And yeah, that's where we're going to be starting at today. Come on in. Hi guys, if you are new here, this channel is all to do with savings, budgeting, finance, a single mum to two children, having recently quit my full-time teaching job and I set up my own business to do part-time tutoring. I also have lots of little side incomes as well and I do a lot of that on this channel. So if you think it's something that you would be uh, find interesting, uh, something you'd like to share in on my journey, helping me pay off the final £5,000 of my debt, then you will be very, very welcome. I would love it if you would consider subscribing because it really, honestly, it supports this channel so much. I can't even explain, honestly, it's fantastic. And of course, that means if you are already subscribed, then I do really, really appreciate it and I love you. Thank you. So, April, April, we've got a brand new April design. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I've got a whole year already planned out. I know some of you already, already bought these trackers and these calendars. So I'm liking this one. Of course, April is normally April showers and I just decided to go for the, the rainbows at the end of the showers. Well, you know, positive and all that. So that's this month's theme. I do have some envelopes to go with that as well. So I know the peekaboo style is really quite popular. So I've done my... Um, April design in the peekaboo style so that's this one this is the a6 size and I'm also doing it in the mini size as well which is this one so we've got it in the mini where you can either see the cash through the front because it's got a clear window or you could have like the full complete wallet where the cash just goes in size so you can't see the cash I'm going to be setting up this new one for myself because I decided I really need to start putting some money to side for holidays and things because we all know how expensive school holidays seem to get and seem to spend so much more money so that's what my envelopes are going to be used for over the next few months of course with it being april we've got the easter holidays which is sort of prompted my thinking around this now i always try and set myself a goal for april at least one but i have got space here for two goals um now previously my goals i've looked at around hitting more subscribers or getting so much towards debt or um, no spend days as well. Now, what I thought about for this particular month is to, first of all, to try to get a couple of my sinking funds completed. So I know that I've got my emergency and my debt are getting really, really uh, quite good. But um, it's these was my emergency and my car repairs and car insurance, which I really want to try and focus on. I'm, I'm not counted it so I don't know but I have got a feeling I might have hit my emergency one so what I think I might do is I'm going to, let's have a look I might actually go the month let's see if we can hit complete three uh, sinking funds Uh, and when I do do that, I'm going to look at reviewing and getting other sinking funds funds on the go. I really want to get started on a house deposit one. That's my priority and a holiday one. Those are going to be my two going forward. And I'm going to be using those, incorporating those into my savings challenges. So I just thought that'd be a nice way of getting started. I won't know for definite until I do my end of month debt sort of um, check in and see where I'm up to with everything. But definitely want to complete three sinking funds. Now, I think I'd be foolish to try and challenge myself with um no spend days because it's april it's easter holidays the kids are home and they eat a lot and they do a lot but 
what I thought might be fun, and I've done it in the past when Holly was a little bit younger, and uh, we like, I mean, I live on a budget now, and I really lived on a budget then. I devised a, it became a game, and I'm actually tempted to recreate it and make it a bit more interesting to go on my Etsy store, which is, um, I called it the I'm bored jar. If you've got children, the favourite thing they like to say is, I'm bored. I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. So I created a jar, uh, which we put together together and it was filled with things that we could do for free. And when we couldn't decide what to do, we, we'd draw one out and we'd do that basically. So I'm thinking I might uh, complete a new I'm bored jar. Because although Alexander's only two and can't tell me he's bored, um, sometimes it's tricky to come up with things, you know, on the spur of the moment, what can I do with them? Uh, so I'm going to complete my iron board jar and I'm also going to start, because I keep saying I'm doing it and I've not done it, same as challenges. So I've got three things going on this month. Start with saving challenges, complete iron board jar and complete three sinking funds. Okay, so let's just pop the dates in here. Friday the 1st, 2nd. No, 30 days in April, I'm pretty sure it's not 31, I'm sure it's 30. Um, now, the only couple of things that I definitely have in place already for this month. Now, my brother invited me to his, his, it's his wife, my now sister-in-law's birthday on the 6th. So, um, put that down. I've already got something in my present cupboard, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, he invited us over to his, but that's if I'm child free and um, that's not likely to happen. So I don't think I'm going there. Um, but also I'm tempted, I'm tempted to take a week off work. Maybe this week, maybe the fourth. Um, because sometimes when I'm like planning days out with the children, and I've got to rush back of an evening because, you know, I've got to get back for students or whatever. And if I go somewhere far away, so like I've got the Merlin passes. If you don't know what those are, they are the part of the, the Merlin scheme. It's things like Alton Towers, Sea Life Centre, the Legoland. So I live in the Northwest. Those are the main ones that I use. Uh, but you can use them down south as well. So potentially I could have a look at whether there's some cheap train tickets. We could go down to London, stay down there with either get a cheap hotel or stay with family and friends. Um, I don't always like doing that, especially if I'm going to like do my own thing. But uh, yeah, so I'd have, I'm going to have a look and maybe take that week off where I'm, I'm planning it in and I'm planning it into my budget. So if I end up working more, then that's just a bonus, basically. So that's that in there. So in which case I wouldn't be here anyway if I go away for a few days. Um, and what I'm going to do, I think, is when I do my debt count up at the end of this month, I might see if I've gone... If I've saved too much, if you like, in a, in a particular envelope, and I might put it towards then my days out. And if you think it'd be useful to see how I plan a week of days out on a budget with two children, then I'd be happy to create a video on doing that because um, obviously I've got my Merlin pass, which means that entry to a lot of things are included. But there are other things I need to account for, like food and picnics and all the rest of it. But um, plus, you know, they get bored with going to the same places, I guess. So happy to do that if you like that other than that that's the only thing i've got officially going on i think in april i'm just trying to think um and then of course it's easter sunday which i believe is this is it one two i think this is easter sunday so it'll be i intend to do an easter egg easter egg hunt in my garden for the for my nieces um so I'll put that down because even though like one of them's like she's 18 in a couple of months so she still comes for the Easter egg hunt the youngest one is apart from Alexander is five uh yeah the sisters so they like that so that's that's me planned for April so I know I've nothing massive to plan for other than potentially a week away here so let's have a look at my budget for April right so Side. Um, I wanted to take a look at my bills and tell you some of the things that have changed. So what 
happened was on, was it Sunday? There was one day last week I went and I needed to go on my account because I needed to check something out. And um, because I work a lot in paper money now rather than using my account, I don't pay as much attention to it as I perhaps ought to. And yeah, so I logged on and I was looking for something. I'm, forgotten what I was looking for now but I spotted there was some anomalies some things that I wasn't expecting to see and some increases in things so the first thing that's come up which I've included on here now is my service now when I got my car in December November December not had it that long and I signed up to a scheme and I completely forgotten about it so um Basically, the car came with two years free servicing, so I don't actually pay anything for servicing until I think it's 2023 because I've got the service done that it was needed and one that gets done this year and it comes with three years MOT as long as it comes unlimited MOT actually as long as I get the car serviced at where I got it from. But the thing that I'm terrible at doing is paying for service. I, that usually is the thing that I don't bother getting done. And I wanted to be a bit more responsible. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting older. Who knows? Um, so they had a scheme where basically you pay. It's not quite twenty pounds. It's about nineteen pound and I'm gonna say fifty six pence. I've rounded it to twenty on here. But basically, what that is, it's like a pot that you pay into. So it's, it's like a saving scheme, effectively. So when you come to get your service, um, it just comes out of the pot, and it's it's um, you know, it's risk free. So if I sold the car, if I left, whatever, if whatever, anything happens, any money that I put into that pot, or even now I could ring up and go, I want to cancel it, I would get all my money back. So I felt like it was a, a safe bet and I'd forgotten about it. So I rung up the company, I was like, who are you? Because the, the company itself, the company name that took the money wasn't anything to do with the car. And I was like, this is bizarre. Why would I ever sign up for this? So once I'd seen it, I realised what it was. So I hadn't been accounting for that. Now, the way I've set up my bank account, there is a small pool of cash in there um, because I have other little bits that are floating there, which I don't tend to include in my budget because it's insignificant and it's not regular, it's not consistent. It's things like royalty from my books that I sell. Um, it's money that may or may not come in from um, dad's things. So um, because I don't expect it, I don't include it and then I can't I can't miss it if that makes sense when I if I don't get it. So at least it's been buffered through that. It's like, like yeah, it's like a buffer, I guess, so it's there. And the other thing is my phone increased and I I completely forgotten I'd set up a deal and I need to cancel something off it. Now the, I was told if I got a deal on something, um it would reduce certain costs. I can't remember the exact wording of it now, but it was a really good deal at the time, but basically I, I should have cancelled something to make sure I didn't get this cost. It was to do with like a dongle that you can put into your laptop basically if you go somewhere and it was free for three months and then it goes up and you get charged for it and I hadn't cancelled it. So I'd gone in the store to try and cancel it. Um, th Then I can't do it in the store. I've got to ring up. And when you've got a baby, do you think I can get on a phone and ring anyone? No, not, not usually. It's just it, not during the day when they're open anyway. So which is why I film my videos very late. Um, so the other things that change, children club has increased because Holly goes to like a drama club and that's five pound a week. Alexander now does like a, a football club and we do a, like a, a parent and toddler group together as well, which he's enjoying. So I want to continue with that. So that's increased slightly. The other things that has increased is my, so I've got an increase on here. I've got an increase here. That's come in. Uh, water's gone up by a little bit and of course gas and electricity have now gone up from 112 to 194 pounds i'm also expecting an increase on the council tax from next month as well so uh, i'm just waiting to find out what that is so yes yeah, so things are going up <laughs> basically um it's not too bad because i actually house share with a friend so it's not massively impact on just me obviously i've got i can split some of these bills it, it's my house show is complicated it's my friend's house and they don't live here very often because they work away so it's it, it's convenient for them to stick for me to stay in the house and i pay all the bills is here very very rarely but he does pay because i like to have his name on the council tax he is 
pays half of that. But basically, I use the gas electricity, I use the water, I use the Wi-Fi. Everything else is sort of mine. He just uses a, a touch base for when he is home, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, so that's where I'm at. So, I'm going to have a look at my monthly income. So, this month, I've because of the holiday that I factored in for myself, for tutoring, I will be bringing home £990 for tuition, there or thereabouts. And I'm also getting 1,540 and that covers things like my child benefit, uh, working tax credit, and I get a small disability allowance as well. So that's my income, if you like. So if I add those two together, that gives me a total of 1,550 pounds. I'm doing that without a calculator, is that right? No, 530 pounds, sorry, 530. 2005. This is why we need a calculator, people. This is why I need to find where I put my calculator. I know where it is. It just requires me getting out of my chair to get it. I think I'm going to have to do that for the next bit. So what I tend to do is total up um, how much I'm getting. I don't know why I put it down there. And then I'm going to total these up, subtract that off this full, full amount, and then divide that by four to find out how much I have per week. So let's do that next. Okay, so because I'm a genius, I didn't press record, but basically I've totted this up. Um, 2530, my bills have obviously increased because of the increases that have gone up. So the gas, electricity, my water, the extra service charge that I'm now paying and the increase in the children's club and the phones. I'm hoping I'll be able to sort that phone out so it should come down. I was a bit foolish of myself for not giving myself a reminder basically. But total is 1151 um, and then I subtracted 1151 from 2530, which is 1379 divided by 4 gives me just over 340, so I've rounded it down to 340 so that I'm not having to mess around with pennies and pounds. So that's what I'm going to be starting with, basically, for this month. Um, it could change yet, depending on what the chance is going to come up with. Um, I haven't seen the TV yet to see what happens. Um, that's coming out today, as long as the video comes out today. So this could change. Uh, I don't... I don't know why it would change massively other than that this is where we are so this is my april going forward um if you're doing your bill at the moment just let your budget at the moment just let me know um it'd be great to check you out see how you're doing and i hope everything's going great for you i will have a go at setting out my calendar with this now this is something that i don't always do and i feel like i need to be a bit more on the ball at the minute so in the past i've done it and i don't do it consistently so i've seen people use the different colors for color code and things which i might have a go at doing because i think that might be useful for myself to stay a bit more focused and a bit more on track and just seeing where everything's coming out of and then i can get a bit more accurate with my no spend days as well so yeah thank you uh so much for coming along i hope you found it useful have a great day and I'll see you really, really soon. Bye.